Monsieur Chairman of the Commission, the crew members are ready. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? No. No questions? Well, good luck. Hello, we would like to wish you good luck and ask how well you are prepared. Thank you very much for wishing us luck. We're ready for everything. And we'll find out a little bit later what we should be be preparing for because we already pulled our cards, our examination cards, and we'll see you. Now we just sign on the, we're signing on the outside of the ticket. We don't see the contents. Well, how, how do you feel the responsibility? I'm like a compressed spring ready for work. I hope everything works out. Well, yesterday you had one examination day. Uh, are you happy with the results of the tests? Yes, well, there are some minor injuries, but some light injuries, so to speak. But we did try our best, and uh, overall everything is going on with our tests. And uh, the commission has reported that the crew members are ready. Because we will just add the experience. Yes, I think the flight engineer has a uh, lucky hand. Please, tell me about the uh, flight crew, about the commander. About the flight crew? Yes. Yes. Well, first, uh, I, they're good friends of mine, and I, I enjoy being with them. But they're also very competent at their jobs of being uh, cosmonauts. And I really appreciate that because uh, they're control of this vehicle, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be riding along with them. As the Steve Swan for NASA TV, this will be your final exam in the Soyuz vehicle. How long will be you be in the Soyuz mock up for your final exam training session today, and what, what, might you, what scenarios might you expect to experience? Well, we're going to start off with a, a launch uh, going into the rendezvous, and then after that we'll get a break, and then we're going to come back and do a, a landing phase. It's going to take most of the day to get through all that, so we'll be in here for uh, in the vehicle for anywhere between six to eight hours. Alexander. A question, who helps the commander more, flight engineer one or flight engineer two? Well, you see at uh, different stages, uh, each uh, crew member, member of the team can assist me. So we support each other, and I think uh, right now the crew has really come together very well as a team. How, how should I say that? I think we will all uh, perform our functions, our role uh, during the flight. That completes the questions. Okay. <laughs> Let's get going. Please proceed here. Well, good luck. Thank 
Good morning. Good morning. The crew members of increment 40 are present. <laughs> yes, I think she put it for you right there. Do you have any questions? No. Thanks. I think we're ready as a group. We're definitely ready for this uh, to get started. We've been training for a long time. We're looking forward to these tests and we're looking forward to them to being done also. And we can get ready to go to Baikonur and have some fun and go launch. Thank you. Is it difficult for the young people to become cosmonauts? No, not complicated. You just need to really want to um, fill out an application form, go through the medical exams, and pass your tests. Well, I have been thinking about that particular question for a while because we need to fill that one kilogram and I'm going to uh, bring leopard uh, bunny and the uh, bear the Olympic souvenirs <laughs> no uh, uh, my Russian language is very poor sorry but Alexander speaks uh, very good English. I have to answer on English. <laughs> <laughs> Question to Alexander Alexandrovich. Uh, you're pointing two EVAs. What are the plans? What is the uh, scenario? So far, only one EVA has been officially approved. This second EVA is still being reviewed. We know the EVA tasks. It's, it's hard to, to start thinking about EVAs right prior to my exams. Uh, hard for me. Well, what were we? Mostly science. So far we have exposed equipment for EVA, then some antenna activities, bio-risk, the science experiment, of course, and then test uh, experiment has not yet been approved, but most likely we're going to have uh, experiment test. Possibly, if we have enough time, we will perform the uh, external inspection of the station. And the second question about the abnormal situations, of which are the most complex. Yeah, I'm talking about the tests, your, my, our examinations. Well, the most complicated always is to be ready for unexpected things, but during our training, we have already gone through training for all the abnormal situations, but how that's going to work out in the examination card uh, we pulled, we don't know, but uh, we're ready for all of nominal situations. And I think it's not just the crew work that is being evaluated, but also the ability of the crew to work with the ground control center and uh, the ground is going to help us during our flight. The well-balanced work um, of the crew with the mission control, and I think it will all work out. Is it uh, harder for you for lunch? Well, no, we're not talking about the mentors. The level of knowledge 
uh, of the crew members is so how you can just um, help them understand how things work out in zero gravity and we can help them figure it out. I think that is an experience they will gain, but as far as uh, training is concerned, I'm not concerned about the outcome of the flight. You see, and uh, good luck and thank you. Are you planning any musical experiments? <laughs> musical? Well, I personally am not planning any. I'm not sure about our crew members, but no. Maybe we'll sing something, maybe some songs for our own purposes, but otherwise, no. That's it. Thank you. Well, this way, this way, please. Over there. Over there. <laughs> Waving to the Mission Control Center. Thank you. Thank you. What is the probability of the opnomino situations? Well, the uh, probability of these specific opnomino situations is uh, uh, rather low, but there can be different opnomino situations, starting with the necessity of some small medical um, issues, something got into a crew member's eye, and they need to talk to the ground and take some steps. And the probability of such uh, situations is rather high. But as a rule, we uh, play very complicated abnormal situations, depressed or fire. But uh, we had one abnormal situation on the Mir station once over the 15 years. And one with, once we had uh, or rather one and a half uh, depressurization events, one was a small leak and one was a major leak. The probability is very low, but the price of such of nominal situations is rather high. That's why all the crew members have to go through training and undergo that during the integrated training. Dear Chairman of the Examination Commission, the backup crew of uh, increment 3940 is uh, ready for the examination training. Commander of the crew, Alexander Samakotayev, please proceed. Thank you. That is for us. Do you have any questions? Well, talk to us in case of an phenomenal situation. Report as you go. Uh, the ground will help. Copy. <laughs> Can we ask? Could you could you look here? During the previous flight, you were pre uh, preparing for a different process. What is the difference? Is it more complicated for you to train? Well, the training system has been honed within the 40-year application, so the difference in training is uh, minuscule. It's just the uh, rendezvous it used to be two days, and now it's shorter, and the crew members are different. Uh, how was your experience uh, training with Elena? That's your first experience flying to the station with the Russian uh, young lady. Well, she's just as good as special as I am, and she's ready to take over anytime she needs to. Yep. Elena, are you worried? Are you nervous? No, I'm ready for work. Any questions? Good luck. For Elena Sarova, what are some of the most important things that you're learning right now in preparation for your space flight? I should say that 
during training uh, for uh, space flight, there are no little things. Every little thing is important. Coach Wilmore, can you talk about some of the challenges of the things that you're learning compared uh, to fly the Soyuz vehicle in, in comparison to the, your last flight, which was more the space shuttle? I would say that uh, regardless of how you're flying in space, what you're flying on, uh, there are challenges wherever you try to do such a thing. Uh, when you push the edge of the envelope and fly into space, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Uh, it's challenging regardless. Uh, I'm excited to be here. I'm thrilled to be at this point. It's been a long journey, and uh, it's been an exciting journey, and, and the excitement continues. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, does anyone else have questions for the crew members? Let us uh, wish them all the best. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you.